Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm ranking the top 10 small forwards in NBA 2K22, my team. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys disagree with me on this list? And what do you guys agree with me on this list? Let me know who are your top 10 small forwards in the game in the comment section down below. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best mind to be content on the platform. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Coming in at the number 10 spot is going to be Galaxy Opal Jason Tatum. He is a small forward power forward, 6'8", six 6'8", foot eight, six foot eight wingspan. He's got 94, mid, uh, 94 three ball, 94 mid range, 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Defensively for a Tatum card, actually pretty good. Has 93 perimeter, 94 lateral, and 92 steel, as well as having 87 interior defense and an 80 block. So a very good overall defender has a 90 driving dunk, 90 speed with ball, 86 ball handle. The only problem I will say with this card is, is his dribble style, and that is on base. He has a great jump shot on quick, which is really nice, but him having base dribble style definitely does hurt the card. If he had quicker shifty, definitely would make him a lot better. Looking at the badges though, he's got good Hall of Fame shooting badges, sniper, limitless, spot up, dead eye, catch and shoot. Playmaking, no Hall of Fames, but has a lot of the good ones on gold. Has Hall of Fame ball stripper, clamps, interceptor, menace, and pickpocket. And then rebound chaser, chase down, hustler, intimidator, pick dodger, po pogo stick, and post lockdown on gold. So a very good overall small forward. He comes in at the number 10 spot. Coming at the number 9 spot is going to be this Galaxy Opal LeBron James. I still think one of the most slept on cards in the game right now because of how long he did come out ago. Right, he, he's been out for a while and there's just a lot of better small forwards in the game right now but he is still a top 10 small forward it's lebron james we all know six foot nine seven foot wingspan really fast card really good on the defensive end can rebound the ball pretty decent handling the ball great attack in the basket got a good enough three ball looking at the defensive end just has hall of fame chase down clams interceptor pogo stick hall of fame bullet passer dimer LeBron James is one of the few cards in 2K that just plays better than his stats. His stats are not that crazy and not that good. Like only a 79 tier defense, but LeBron James just plays way better overall than his stats and badges show. Animations, I do like his jump shot. I think eventually, I think eventually, I think on LeBron James' next card, I think on LeBron James' first Dark Matter card, I think he will have quicker shifty, which will make this card so much better because his jump shot will be on quick and he will have quick or shifty dribble style, which will help him a lot with handling the ball. But right now, I still think his Galaxy Opal is the ninth best small forward in the game. Coming in at the number eight spot is going to be Dark Matter Alex English. He is a small forward shooting guard, six foot seven, six foot ten wingspan. If you guys don't know how to earn this card, basically, you have to collect 3,600 cards in the collector level. So it takes a lot of MT to get this card. He is super expensive. He's got 93 three ball, 97 mid range, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. He's got 95 perimeter, 97 lateral, 95 steel, as well as having 84 interior and 80 block. Definitely a very good defender, especially on the perimeter. Has 95 driving down, can attack the basket really well. Has 94 speed with ball, 86 ball handle. All thing pickpocket, pick dodger, intimidator, interceptor, and clamps. All thing quick for a step. All thing catch and shoot, dead eye, rhythm shooter, sniper, volume shooter. He's got gold limitless spot up, hot zone hunter, green machine, corner specialist. He's got Hall of Fame posterizer, limitless takeoff. This card is super, super good overall. Has Carmel, Carmel Anthony, Carmel Anthony on quick. Very good jump shot and has that shifty dribble style. So can definitely handle the ball. I think he's a little bit better at shooting guard position because he's only six foot seven. So I'd say he's better at the shooting guard position, but I still think at the three, he is the eighth best small forward in the game. Coming in at number seven is going to be another dark matter, and it's going to be Tracy McGrady. He's a small forward shooting guard, six foot eight, seven foot two wingspan. He's got 97 three ball, 96 mid range, 96 speed, 96 acceleration. Defense will be very good stats wise as 95 perimeter, 95 lateral and 95 steel. Great at driving a basket, 97 driving dunk, good speed with ball and 95 and has a 96 ball handle. The problem with this card is gonna be the animations. We look at slash or dribble style, definitely does hurt the card. That's why I think he's better at small forward than he is at shooting guard. I didn't even have him in my top 10 shooting guards, but he is number seven at the small forward position. I think that mainly due to the fact that he has slasher and I'd much rather him at the three. Also due to the fact that he's a little bit better defensively um, than some shooting guards in the game. So I'd rather him at the three. Shooting badge is obviously really good on the Hall of Fame. Blinders, catch and shoot, chef, Dead Eye, Limitless, Spot Up, and Sniper. Has Hall of Fame, Quick First Step, Quick Chain, Hyper Drive, and Downhill. Like I said, Hall of Fame, Clamps, and all the rest you'd want pretty much on gold. 
Tracy McGrady still a very good small forward. He is the seventh best in my opinion. Coming in at number six spot is going to be Galaxy Opal, Giannis, and Sadden Kumpo. He is a power forward, small forward, six foot 11, seven foot four wingspan. I mean, it's Giannis, right? I can't wait till we get a dark matter of this card because he is going to be an absolute demon. But this Galaxy Opal card is still very elite. It's just Giannis, right? Defensively, great stats, but it's just mainly due to his wingspan and his body frame. Like, he just gets so many chase down blocks. You can test everybody at the rim. Like, he's just so glitchy driving to the basket. He'll get any dunk animation, any layup animation to go. He gets fouled like every possession. His drive, his, his draw foul is really high as well. So, he's going to get fouled a lot going to the basket. Like I said, Giannis LeBron, two cards that just play way better than his stats. Like, he doesn't play like this. He plays like a 90, 99 interior, 99 perimeter. Like, he's still one of the best defensive cards in the game. Jump shot is on quick, which is nice. When we get a Giannis that has quicker shifty dribble style and a higher three ball, it's going to get kind of scary out here in the My Team streets. Not going to lie, when we have a Giannis Antetokounmpo that has quick or shifty dribble style, has this quick jump shot and has like an 85 three ball that can obviously be upgraded with a coach or a diamond shoe boost. So he's going to be insane once he gets his dark matter. But even as Galaxy Opal is the sixth best small forward, coming halfway into this list is going to be Galaxy Opal Rudy Gay. He recently just dropped in this past Friday's promo, his signature series signed. I think that's six, I'm pretty sure. That might be five or six. Not really good with my uh, Roman numerals, but he's a power forward, small forward, six foot eight, seven foot three wingspan. So good wingspan, good height for the small forward position. Has 91 three ball, 93 mid range, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. So fast enough for the small forward position, definitely. Defensively, he's solid. He could be a little bit better defensive card, but has 90 perimeter, 93 lateral, but 87 steel, 85 block. Could be a little bit higher especially for small forward. You want to see that block a little bit higher. Interior defense, I think it's fine at 86. He's got 97 driving dunk, obviously going to the basket. Really good, has 90 speed of the ball, has 90 ball handle, Hall of Fame clamps, interceptor, pogo stick, has gold rim protector, rebound chaser, post lockdown, pickpocket, pick dodger, chase down, Hall of Fame quick first step, quick chain, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, core specialist, typical shots, rhythm shooter, and sniper. Has gold blinders, dead eye, green machine, hot zone hunter, and sniper. But the amazing thing about this card is his dribble cell and his jump shot. Has a great jump shot, and now it's on quick timing, so an even better jump shot than his pink diamond. And we all know how good this pink diamond card was. If you guys do remember, if you guys can look on the screen, you look at the tis of season, we all know we all remember how good that pink diamond was. So his Galaxy Opal with a faster jump shot, still the same quick uh, dribble style, which is very good. So for me, I think Rudy Gay is the fifth best small forward in the game. Coming in at the number four spot, I still think Kevin Durant is a top four small forward in the game. Still think he's a very slept on small forward. Not going to show you guys too much of him because he's came out. He's been out for a while and we've all looked at Kevin Durant. We all know what Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant can do on the floor. He's a six foot nine small forward with a seven foot four wingspan. So really good wingspan, really good height. Obviously good speed, amazing three ball, can attack the basket. Defensively, he's fine because of his height and his wingspan. Has Hall of Fame clamps, Intimidator, Menace. So defensively, he's good enough. But offensively, this card is insane. Has that shifty dribble style. Jump shot only, only on normal. So when he gets his dark matter, he'll have quick, quick release timing and probably still the same shifty dribble style. So can't wait to get a couple of these guys' dark matters like Kevin Durant, like LeBron and Giannis. When those dark matter comes out, it is going to be crazy in my team. Next, we got number three is going to be Scotty Pippen Galaxy Opal. He's a small, small forward shooting guard, six foot eight, seven foot wingspan. He's got a 92 three ball, 90 mid range, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Defensively, still one of the best defensive cards in the game. 97 perimeter, 98 lateral, 97 steel, as well as having 88 interior and 80 block. 90 driving dunk, 93 speed of the ball, 86 ball handle. And the thing they made really good about Scottie Pippen is he has that shifty or has that quick dribble style. So now he can actually handle the ball for himself when in past two Ks or at least earlier in this year when he got like his diamond card and when he got his amethyst card those ones couldn't dribble they had like slasher or base or some dribble style that couldn't really create for themselves but now that scotty pippen has quick you can realistically run your offerings through scotty pippen or he can easily be a number two option has his jump shot on quick which is very nice i think scotty pippen the third best small forward in the game look at these defensive badges just absolutely insane interceptor clamps pick dodger pickpocket all on Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame quick first step, sniper, corner specialist, and catch and shoot. In my opinion, easily a top three small forward in the game. The second best small forward in the game, in my opinion, is going to be this Galaxy Opal Cincinnati as pal. He is the unlimited reward for season five. I think this card is absolutely insane. Small forward, power forward, six foot seven, six foot ten wingspan. 
He's got 93 ball, 95 mid range, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, good vertical, good strength, good stamina, and good hustle, which is a, a very important thing. That strength is definitely going to help him out a lot on the interior. Has 94 interior defense, 86 perimeter, 95 ladder quickness, 92 steel, and 90 blocks. So overall, on the defensive end, amazing stats on defense 90 driving dunk 92 speed with ball 86 ball handle he's a great rebounder 95 offensive rebound 96 defensive rebound as hall of fame clamps hustler interceptor intimidator pogo stick post lockdown and rebound chaser as every other gold defensive badge in the game all thing quick first step hall of fame sniper corner specialist catch and shoot as gold blinders dead eye green machine hot zone hunter limitless spot up and mismatch expert when we look at the animations here he has x and base on quick we all know we all know how good x and base has been in the past 2ks don't think it's as good as it's been in the past 2ks but still one of the best bases in the game from El anthony upper a very good upper release and it's on quick so a very good jump shot and he has a shifty dribble style so just like scotty pippen he can definitely crave for himself and if you guys notice if we scroll down at the dribble moves there is a lot of Kyrie Irving's name in here. So he, he he basically dribbles like Kyrie Irving. And he's a six foot seven small forward with these stats. And he basically dribbles like Kyrie Irving, which is just insane to me because Kyrie Irving has some really good sigs in this game for dribbling. And he basically has all of them. So he's a six foot seven Kyrie on offense that has all these stats and then can play amazing defense. So for me, I think he is the second best small forward in the game. But coming at the number one spot, I think this Kawhi Leonard card like he is just unmatched man until we get a dark matter LeBron until we get dark matter KD or Giannis I think Kawhi Leonard is going to be the best small forward in the game he's a small forward shooting guard six foot seven seven foot three wingspan as a 96 three ball 97 mid-range 95 speed 95 acceleration defensively obviously we know who we're talking about here it is the claw Kawhi Leonard 98 perimeter defense 98 lateral 98 steel and 92 block even looking at the tendencies has 99 on ball tendency or on ball steel tendency and has 99 pass interception 99 block shot like his tendencies amazing in this game he gets pretty much every single pluck he just steals the basketball every single possession has 90 driving dunk and 93 speed of ball 86 ball handle even a decent rebounder for the small four position the only problem with this card is he has his own dribble style which is not like quick or shifty it's basically kind of like fundamental it's a good it's a, still a good dribble style but it's not like a quicker shifty if once Kawhi Leonard gets quicker shifty he might be the best small forward or best card in the game but this card is still literally unmatched at the small forward position he's got Ray Allen base on quick very good jump shot we all know Kawhi Leonard is going to look like on the defensive end with his Hoff badges ball stripper clamps defensive leader interceptor intimidator menace off ball pass pickpocket gold rim protector rebound chaser and chase down artist as a Hall of Fame quick first step, which is super nice. Hall of Fame blinders, catch and shoot, circus threes, corner specialist, dead eye, limitless spot up, and sniper. Juan Leonard's got some really good Hall of Fame shooting badges, and obviously playmaking some good gold ones, and got some good other gold shooting badges as well. I think Juan Leonard is the best small forward in the game. You guys can definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said earlier, let me know who do you guys think is the best small forward in the game, who do you guys think your top 10 small forwards is, and what do you guys agree with about me on this list, and what do you guys disagree with about me on this list. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.